Here are my friends, uh, Canon 180 millimeter macro lens. If you are trying to get into macro photography, um, I would recommend this lens. Um, I have used other lenses too for macro, uh, but this one gives me um, a little more distance, and that's what I was looking for a uh, little more distance uh, from my subject and uh, this one will give you um, actually a fair amount of uh, distance for one-to-one -one, uh, macro photography this is a solid built lens all metal um, very heavy solid solid feeling lens the only thing plastic is this uh, plastic uh, lens shade um, uh, a heavy lens without the covers let's uh, see how heavy this really is uh, put it on the scale and it gives me two pounds eleven and a half ounces so you know pretty close to about three pounds you know and you surround it off about three pounds you know by the time everything goes on um, this is a uh, ultrasonic uh, 180 3.5 lens, uh, prime lens, EF, Canon Macro. Takes a 72 millimeter filter size for the front. Uh, L series, extremely sharp. Uh, unfortunately, does not have a weather sealing uh, like most of the L series have uh, the weather sealing uh, gasket right here in the rubber gasket sealer anyways uh, got a nice tripod collar uh, which you will be using um, all the time for macro photography unless you're like really good at hand holding especially this heavy lens um, I would recommend a tripod all the time um, and um, it's got a few switches right here uh, one is for autofocus manual focus uh, when you're doing macro you'll probably put it in manual focus and if you want one-to-one -one, uh, you'll go to its closest focusing which is right here uh, which is going to be about one point uh, five six feet so about one and a half feet um, you'll be about one and a half feet away from your uh, subject and um, it'll give you a one-to-one -one ratio um, and I would I would put it in manual focus and move the camera back and forth to focus uh, and lock it down on the tripod and uh, of course use a cable release you know because there's always when you're working in such high magnification the camera shake you know uh, ruins the shot um, then uh, we have another switch right here is the focus limiter uh, which is uh, a full range from um, 0 0.48 meters to uh, infinity um, and uh, the other side is 1.5 meter to infinity so uh, when you have it on <laughs> the full range uh, the autofocus is um, slower than manual focus meaning it's extremely slow uh, you will think that something's wrong with your lens uh, that's useless uh, when you put it in 1.5 to infinity, uh, the focusing will, uh, the performance of your focusing will increase incredibly. Uh, it'll it'll focus just like any other lens, uh, really fast. Um, I've shot a lot of wildlife with this, a lot of portraiture with this, good compression, good good autofocus backgrounds, um, and and the sharpness of the prime lens. Uh, but when you are shooting macro, uh, when, when you have it in the 1.5 to infinity, it's not going to focus closer. 
you know, the, for the macro. So you have to have it down here uh, to auto focus. But if you're gonna manual manual focus, it doesn't really matter. This is for auto focus. Uh, the limiter right here, the limiter switch. Um, but anyways, uh, something to keep in mind that this this lens when it's in when it's in its full range of focusing, the switch is switched to the full range of focusing. It's it, you will think that there's something wrong with the lens, uh, but there isn't anything wrong with the lens. It's just that's the way it is. It's just uh, it's gonna keep hunting and it's gonna be like going so slow trying to. Uh, trying to uh, find and focus on something. Anyways, uh, let's mount this to a body and uh, see what we can come up with right here. We're gonna throw this on a full frame body right here, and um, and it's. Uh, uh, it, it becomes really heavy, uh, you know, especially when you throw it on a full frame body. Uh, this is a 1DS Mark uh, three uh, full frame and uh, a beautiful body. I, I work a lot with this. It's a little older camera, but uh, uh, does uh, deliver awesome stuff. So let me put this on the scale and see how much does this weigh with this body. So it's weighing approximately six, a little over six pounds. So you can just uh, think about it that um, when you're carrying this around all day in the field, uh, trying to chase those insects or whatever, um, trying to photograph whatever out in the open, um, uh, this can get really heavy. Um, it's gonna, uh, and especially you know carrying a tripod. Uh, unless you got all kinds of money and you can get a carbon fiber, you know, um, lighter tripod. I personally like to have a heavier tripod. Um, that's just me uh, because it gives me more sturdiness. Uh, but, you know, lighter tripods will work too. Uh, they have a good footing. Um, but uh, heavier tripod always works best. You know, I, that, that's my personal opinion. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna put this uh, around here and turn this on and focus on something. And let's see, right here. Okay, let's see, we'll focus on this Canon lens cap. So this is one to one, no, not one to one, one to one is right here. This is to my closest focusing. So the Canon logo just barely fits into my sensor right here, side to side. So this is life size. So one-to-one -one would be what you see in real life is being recorded on your sensor, same size. And from the front uh, of my, from the front of my um, uh, lens shade, I am approximately seven inches away seven inches away from a lens shade where my lens shade ends from the from the front of my lens shade to my subject it's about seven inches so you have, if, if you're going to be using that setup i mean that's how close you're going to be to your subject about seven inches away that's still really close i mean um, if you're photographing live uh, subject um, you know you can scare them away or something um, you know, so you have to be careful uh, with the, with the, some other lenses uh, like the 100 millimeter or the 60 millimeter, um, the MP65. I mean, you you are right, right there, you know, with your subject. So this gives you a little bit more flexibility as far as room goes to get a one-to-one -one ratio. 
and uh, be a little bit farther away from your subject. Uh, the lens shade itself is approximately three inches. So if you took the lens shade off, um, you know, you'll gain three more inches. You know, that's, you're still about 10 inches away, but you know, then there's always danger of flare and whatever not. Um, anyways, but the focusing on this lens, uh, the depth of field is so narrow. It's, it's incredibly narrow depth of field. So let's say uh, at 3.5, I am touching the lens shade with this ruler, okay? I'm touching it. So you see when the Canon logo is in focus, the Canon logo is in focus, my ruler is not. And when the ruler is in focus, the Canon logo goes out. You know, so I mean, it's the depth of field is like really shallow, and uh, you will notice that a lot more when you when you get the images into the computer. Um, it's 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 tight. I mean, the, here is my finger touching the lens shade right now, but you cannot see my finger nail. And if I go back. A little bit and fingernail comes into focus and the lens cap goes out so it's a um, uh, really shallow depth of field anyways um, uh, here the depth of field scale on this thing if you see right here right there it says f32 so if you stop your lens to f32 you see where the tip of that arrow is that's how much depth of field you have at f32 so it's like next to nothing I mean it's it's like when you stop your lens down all the way to f32 it's it's still so shallow depth of field um, so you have to be careful how you use this lens, but you can come up with really interesting images. Um, works awesome. Um, heavy, heavy lens. Um, so if you're not into the heavy stuff, um, then this lens is not for you because this is, you know, I mean, you, you'll have to carry this all day long. You'll get tired. Um, six pounds. Um, is a lot of pounds, you know, when you're carrying around. Uh, but this is a beautiful lens. Um, awesome images um, coming out of this glass right here. So here it is, my friends. And uh, I'll show you a few examples uh, at the end of this video. I'll throw a few examples that I shot of different different things with this lens right here. So I would recommend this lens. To anybody, um, you can pick one up, uh, used one for uh, I think 12, 1300 bucks. Uh, a new one would be like 18, 1900 bucks from BH, somewhere in there. Um, but uh, this is a this is a, a all solid uh, metal lens, um, but the drawback is heavy and uh, slow auto focusing on this thing.